And I don't know if you remember this. You put me in a, in a, in a little microphone booth. There was a, I couldn't even fit in the microphone. What do you use? Um, I use Ableton. I'm an Ableton guy. Like I've been really like, and I'm, I, I, I think I'm, I, I, I would say I'm good. I'm not great. Ableton is such a complicated machine. It, it, it allows you to be as free as you want to be. And it allows you to do the thing about it, just knowing the shortcuts, knowing how to get to it, knowing how to process it. It's just a lot to learn. There's little stuff that I never learned. Like, I never really went off of uh, 116, 132. I just know, oh, it should sound like this. I never go by the number. So now, with Ableton, it forces me to, like, just really get into the math because everything is numbers and how you nudge it 5%, five, 2%, five everything is numbers. So, like, so now I start learning, like, a grid of, like, Beats by numbers, like if I think four three two four two four two four five, I know how to swing that four two four three four five. So that's how I be studying, like in code or kind of in a way. So like, so Ableton is, I'm, I say I'm, I'm not great. Like the ASR ten, I think I was great for what I do, but as I got to uh, really dial in, I really didn't really. I really didn't dial in enough to, in the ASR 10 because the stuff I know on Ableton, I'll go back and look at the ASR 10. I'm like, oh, some of the stuff was right here. But, you know, now that I, I, I'm like, okay, now the sound has changed to digital. So that's more analog. But I, you know, I always loved the ASR 10. The ASR 10, I did all my hits on that, right? On that machine. Mm -hmm. and they reckon it does. Everybody, if you don't know what an ASR 10 is, it's a keyboard and you can sample on the keyboard. Um, that's where you sample and you flip the samples by by um, hitting the keys like on the keyboard. Um, all of my records, Be Faithful, all those records were made on the ASR-10. Like he said, a lot of his records were made on the ASR-10. What do you use today other than Ableton? What is the machine that's that you it. use? Just, that's that's it. it? Just Ableton. Ableton. Ableton and Push. It's Ableton Push, but it's all Ableton still. Okay. Okay. Now, last thing we're going to talk about, versus, man. I just need to, I need a couple of things from your point of view. I spoke to Swiss last week. I got his point of view. I just want yours now. What made you guys create versus? What, what, what was it? What was behind it? Um, just want to be disrupt. I mean, disruptive. Just want to shake up some stuff. And, and, and. Me and Swiss had the idea about three and a half years ago when we did Hot 90, uh, I think it was Summer Jam, Hot 97. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it was that um, in New York, and we kind of battled on stage. But we knew that we want, we, the whole vision was this, we saw that like two artists, they 20 songs, 20 songs. We kind of, we didn't have the 20 songs, but we knew it was two artists, hits, hits, you know what I'm saying? Against hits. So, Make a long story but up to the virus that we in today. So, grown, I mean, quarantine just started. And then, you know, God put on my, um, like I was laying down, and God put in my spirit, like the idea that we were growing down for time. I, I just kept hearing, like, do it now. Like, you know, I just kept hearing the voice, like, now it's the time. So, I kept egging, switching on with, like, little beats. I would post. And little stuff, I'm like, Swift, do it. Then I call and I'm like, yo, we got to do our versus thing right now. Right now? We got to do this. I think, I think the time is, is so crazy. Like, all right, let's go. And we just, we just, we, we didn't give it a lot of talk. He felt my energy and we kicked it off. And look where we at today. Now, who, who is the hardest battle to get done? Who is the, who, who are the two hardest people to bring together? Um, you know what it is? I think when you building something that's unique and different, when we first did it, we had to show ourselves. Then I, I can't, we've done so many, I can't, my mind can't remember. But the second one after that, I think it was Hit Boy, Boy Wonder, then Lil John. Like, it got contagious for the first three. So that got that gave us a little leeway. Then after that, the, you know, we start getting the big, you know, those guys are super big. But then as we start going to the legends of Teddy Riley and Babyface, 
we knew we was going to have to deal with a different mentality, you know, how to approach it. And everybody saw the beauty of what it was doing for black culture, you know, and want to celebrate with, you know, it's really me chess. So I think after the Teddy, I won't say that was the hardest one, but like it is a job because we have to deal with people and explain what this is and what it's doing for the culture and how it benefits, you know, it's giving back time that we can give back to people, you know, because we doing we we doing it for the love. Ain't no money. We doing it. We creating the whole platform for the love to give back to keep people to keep our great ones celebrate, give them their flowers while they're here. You know, it's for education, get his stories at the same time. So as people see it, you know, you start. To get, everyone is everyone wants a fight because it's like everybody has their perspective on what it is. You have to rearrange their mind a different perspective. Now, now, when you're sitting in the house and you're watching people go through Wi-Fi problems like Teddy and Nelly, what are you sitting there saying to yourself? You looking like that? You're like, well, what the fuck? You know what? You know what? Those, that's all a part. That's, you know, at first, you know, you know, because we don't know. It's not a planned thing. So you're like, oh, man. So we like, oh, we got to get the show on the road. So it's good for us because guess what? It's a part of verses. If it, mm -hmm. if, if if you don't have those blooper moments, you won't have nothing to talk about. You right. know what I'm saying? It's all a part of what verses is. You're gonna have some moments where it's great. You might have some moments where it's bad. That's that's the whole part of it. And I think that's what makes verses. Those moments of the Wi-Fi messing up. Those moments where it cut off because y'all know you at your phone. Like, oh man, what happened? What happened? So that means you engage. We got your attention. Mm -hmm. It's exciting, you know. You know when Teddy messed up and we had to postpone and we came right back. That was like that was that was amazing. But we didn't plan that out. Mm -hmm. We just knew that you got to come back. Yep. Okay. You're in your house and you see Jada Kiss drunk off his ass. What 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 is, what is Tim sitting there saying? I'm not saying I'm loving it. This is this is this is 2020, man. Like what we creating is the future. Everything ain't gonna be how you want. We want those artists to feel free. And guess what? It showed. Like Jada, people talk about them. Mm -hmm. People do. Like you can't you can't buy that. You can't write that. You can't pay for that. That's genuine love he had for Fab. He got drunk. He celebrated the hell out of Fab and Fab celebrate the hell out of him. Mm -hmm. Like, the energy that was in that room that night, hey. you can't pay for that. You can't pay for that. I mean, and you can't you can't rearrange that. You know what I'm saying? We, we try to keep it where it is a celebration. So celebrations come with being drunk, being this. But the point is, the old kids, they love it on each other. Mm -hmm. you, you know, when I saw it, the first thing that I said, and I don't want to break, make it about me, but I said, Jada loves him. Because when people get drunk, they really tell you what the hell they feel. So not only not only did I feel the love from Jada, I knew it was real because he was drunk. And the amazing thing was, Jada came out three days later with jadadrunk.com and sold out a complete line of clothing. Just off of, just off of that moment. So... I looked at that and I caught, I hit Swiss on the DM. I was like, yo, bro, what y'all are doing is amazing. And and there's no other way to describe love. it. But hey, love ain't going to come in a, 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 a packet sometimes. You just got to like dissect through that. But you, you felt it through that screen. Drunk, not drunk. They fall if they drop, if they drop glasses. It didn't make a difference because you felt the love. It's like, oh, they just mm -hmm. having a good time. You, you could feel it. The thing is that you could feel it. Now, the, one of the last things I want to ask you is about Apple Music. People, when Tim leaves, stay tuned. We're going to have the question of the day, which is, if a man pays all the bills in the house, should he be allowed to do whatever he wants? Can he have a side piece? Can he not do chores, cooking, whatever? But we'll get to that after this last question for Tim. Tim, Apple Music. Why did you guys go to Apple Music? Are you doing Instagram anymore? Are you doing Apple Music or both? Um, what are you right doing? Right now. Still on, it's still on Instagram, but Apple 
we came up with a solution and a way to partner um, how we can, you know, Apple is helping us integrate to, to HD quality and transition people because, you know, like we love, we love, we love both. It's the home started the Instagram, but, you know, as you develop and as you go on, you know, you, it, it's all, ain't nothing like the, on that TV screen, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And hitting that thing, hearing that music loud, you feel like you at a show. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I think for verses, for verses, for the fans, for, for the people who love verses, I feel like that's an experience you should be able to enjoy. You can still mm -hmm. enjoy, it, enjoy it on your phone, but you have the option to enjoy it on your TV. So it's like, just kind of keep it on base and elevating it to the next level. And, and, this is going to stay something that's completely free, no sponsorship, no brought to you by, no nothing? You know, everything, you know, everything's levels. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we just, we just keeping it how it should be kept. You know, we just, you know, it's doing, it's, you seeing the rise of how it's moving and you appreciate it. It ain't like, bam, 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 bam. It's like, this ride this. So, you know, you have a story, you know what I'm saying? Then you can see it. You're like, okay, they just didn't go to this. They just didn't go to that. They didn't, They really thought it out, been smart about it, kept the energy alive. And when the right time was right, they partnered with this. When the right time was right, they partnered with that. It just don't seem like everything is so late or not. Just look, we're going to stick to the script, 20 hits. Let's get to it. We'll work about the other stuff and let it come as it comes. I got you, brother. I got you. Again, thank you for coming through. I appreciate your time. And I give you your flowers while you're here. I never, ever in my life saw a guy make a beat the way you did and then walk in there like it was absolutely nothing. It was pure genius. And I talk about it all the time. And I just want to say I love you, brother. Be safe. All right. Thank you, man. Love. God bless, man. That's Timberland right there. Uh, a lot, a lot of gems right there, bro. A lot of gems, a lot of things that he brought up. A lot of, a lot of musical knowledge that you can get. Not even get into the beat making class. So people, if you want to learn how to make a beat, Tim has a beat making class and you can get that on the internet. Because I, I didn't really want to get into that too deep. I just wanted to kind of promote it after and let you know what he's doing. He has a, a full master class on how to make beats. You can get that online. You can go see it. All you got to do is type in Timberland Master Beats. Now, going on to the question of the day, people, here's how this is going to go. The question of the day is, if a man pays all the bills in the house, should he be allowed to do whatever he wants, whether that's having a side piece, whether that's not doing chores or cooking, whatever it may be. If you want to talk about this and you want to give your comment, there's three ways you can do it. You can do it right there in the question box. Right at the bottom of your Instagram, you can leave a comment right here in the comments, or you can go live with me. If you go live with me, here are the rules. Number one, have the camera facing you. Number two, be in a well-lit area where we can see you. And number three, be ready to talk about the question. So, again, the question of the day is, if a man pays all the bills in the house, should he be allowed to absolutely do whatever the fuck he wants? Whether that's having a side piece, whether that's not doing chores, not cooking, not taking care of the kids. I want your opinion. Please give it to me. Uh, the girl Vic says, hell no. Abiola 003 says, yeah, with moderation. So that means I can cheat with moderation. So that means I can 